Good morning, guys. So, yeah, two fur. You get two today, one here, one there. So, kind of wanted to bring this one up in case anybody didn't hear, didn't see. But, uh, you know, I, I did a video the other day, oh, a week or so ago, about Biden or Putin, right? And, you know, it's kind of interesting is what's going on. And then I did the video, was it yesterday morning, I guess it was, about the Brazilian president and what he was saying. <clears throat> Anybody getting the idea that the public pressure is really starting to get to some of these politicians around the world? This is why I say it, okay? Remember, oh, a couple of months back when Russia had come out and said that, well, we're not going to mandate the vaccine to anybody, but, uh, you know, what we're going to do is if businesses don't get their 60% of their employees vaccinated, we're going to find the businesses, right? Well, it looks like they've backpedaled a little bit on that one. Now, reason I say is because last night stories came out of the Kremlin that Putin has now said People need to get vaccinated to overcome this pandemic, but nobody's job should be on the line if they refuse. Okay. If I go into a quote from him, vaccination is the main weapon against the spread of the virus. Importantly, no one should be forced to get a jab. Pressure where people may lose their jobs is even less acceptable. People must be convinced of the need to get the vaccine. This must be done pers persistently and respectfully. People should be convinced of the need to get vaccinated in order to save their lives and health and to protect their loved ones. Now, this kind of goes back to everything that we've been talking about forever. If you want to do it, if you think it's in your best interest, more power to you. Go for it. If you don't want to do it, if you don't think it's in your best uh, interests, more power to you. It should be a choice. And all of a sudden, I, 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 and again, trying to see where news comes out. You know, so you get something out of Brazil saying go buy rifles. Now you get Putin saying you know the jab should not be mandatory. Okay. Uh, yeah, but here's my point. Up until. What, last week, you know, everybody around the world was pushing, you know, Fauci and, you know, every head of state all over the place were talking about uh, more lockdowns and passports and you can't go to a concert, you can't go to a restaurant and you can't go to a grocery store and all this sort of stuff. And it seems to be that all of a sudden some of these heads of state are realizing People aren't sheep as much as we thought they were. They're not listening, you know. Now, Putin's got a parliamentary election coming up here later this year. It could vary. I mean, not that he's going to lose, okay. But, you know, still the optics. You know, it's like, oh, I got 81% of the vote. You know, you're the only candidate on the ballot, so it's not really difficult to win. Uh, but... You know, it, it's one of these things where, hmm, if the people aren't happy about this, I don't want to see my numbers go down, saving face amongst the world. You know, I mean, one of the things that, you know, Putin has done all the time, you know, it's like, oh, I've got 80%, 90% approval rating. You know, he said, my people love me, everything like that. And he broadcasts that to all the other leaders in the world, you know, especially going up to Biden, going, you know, gee, your approval numbers are under 50%. You know, the majority of the country doesn't like you. Uh, but, you know, if if you're doing something that the people don't like, the people, I don't care what country you're in, are going to tell you. They're going to let you know one way or the other, whether it's protests like you had in Australia or France whether it's at the ballot box and they just say, we don't like you. I mean, not that he's going to lose, but all of a sudden, if it's like, oh, you got 52% of the vote, it's like, what the hell happened? Why did I lose 30%? So this is the thing. And this is where you get worried, guys, because 
the double speak, the talking out of both sides of your mouth is going to start coming more and more and more and more. We saw Trump do it. Trump for the longest time was, you need to get it, you need to get it, you need to get it, you need to get it. And then all of a sudden, lately in the past couple of weeks, he's like, well, it should be a choice. Okay. And I think Trump finally got the idea that he was losing a lot of his base because the base disagreed with him. Okay. Didn't want this forced upon them. So, you know, what happens next? You know, who else, you know, which is the next domino to fall? Which is the next country to say, gee, we don't think this is going to be the best idea for us? Don't know. Okay. But as more and more and more leaders start backing down, the ones that continue to be heavy handed, i.e. Potato Joe, uh, you know, they'll, they're going to start looking more and more and more like a dictator. And that's not going to be good for their political future. Not that Joe's got much of a future in walking and talking anymore. Uh, but, you know, he's going to, he could feasibly drag down the entire party with him. And, if you don't think that that the politicians are seeing this, you know that they've got to have come to a realization that this whole debacle of "gee, we're going to get control, all the sheep will follow us," everything is not working. Okay, that their plans have failed. You know, notice we haven't heard squat in the news for oh, I don't know, the last month and a half from Klaus Schwab, and I mean for for. The prior year and a half, I mean, hell, he was all over the news everywhere. Every day you were hearing something about the World Economic Forum. And all of a sudden, crickets, okay? Because they've lost their stranglehold. I mean, what they were trying to use as their reason for taking over is falling, is failing them, okay? Now, you know damn well that Afghanistan got in the way. Now the hurricane gets in the way. Something else always winds up at the head of the uh, news headlines. Okay, you know the, the the news cycle always has something new to it. Okay, now the hurricane again today took away anything that was going on in Afghanistan. Gee, there were you know suicide bombing attempts. I guess the Americans somehow killed the suicide bombers before they were able to go off. You know whatever would go. But notice how that. There's now a second story. It'll come back. I mean, for a couple of days here, we're going to have hurricane aftermath stories for sure. But it's not like Afghanistan goes away. I mean, Biden's got to be thrilled to death that the hurricane hit because it takes all the focus off of his complete fuster cluck that he did in Afghanistan. But, you know, it's still not taking away from 13 families who lost loved ones. It's still not taking away from 330 million Americans who are seeing inflation go through the roof. You know, yes, all of us are very concerned about the hurricane and how that's affecting people. But, you know, it's just interesting that the the grip on power that the politicians thought they had even six months ago is slipping through their fingers. Slowly but surely, the people of the world are winning this battle. Have a good Monday. Pimble out.